Ah, this will be episode 48. Pretty cool. 8, 28, and onward. As well as the fact that the Fast Friends update just went out. <laughs> so, this will be fun. Let's hope the save is not completely destroyed. It shouldn't be. I don't know if it shouldn't be. Um, we're about to find out. Yes, I am concerned. Every time that I should not include it updates, there is like a 50-50 that it could just implode. Literally sitting here with bated breath. Looks like we are okay. Make sure that everything's in. The pips! Yup, they are in. Okay, none of you guys should have a higher rate. Yeah, everyone should be around 2%. Over the frame rate. There we go. Rendering in. Make sure we get all the plans to load. Helen? Frame rate's actually a little bit better. A little bit. Now they did a bunch of optimization fixes. At least that was one of the bigger things with this update. A lot of back end fixes. Okay. I will need to technically do that. I also need that. Oops. Customize my ready. I will need to make a cuddle pip room now. <laughs> I might just start shoving them in here to increase production. Apparently, cuddle pips are designed in a way that makes it so that way they will hug incubators as well as duplicates. So if we see one, it shouldn't get pulled out of anywhere because I don't have it set up to be yanked out of any room. Definitely going to be kind of sitting here looking for a giant pink egg to be floating around at some point. I'm probably going to just keep this as a regular pip room over here. Our next one might be a cuddle pip. Still kind of debating. May. Rumors. Over. Oh, Quinn, our new dupe. One of the new dupe types. Germ resistant, terrestrial grass, small bladder, plant murderer, yodeler, building research. We also had to do animations based on what their skills are. And yes, we do have animal lover over here, but they don't have anything for ranching. But they can level up now. So that's not bad. Building Doctor. Do I need another doctoring dupe? I probably do. Hmm. My dad says... I have... I could probably take Otto, and I can probably shove him over here on Butalon. To reduce the workload for our Froctus. He's actually getting EXP now. Oh my god. It's amazing. Mind you, Froctus is our best rancher, period. Um, 
Actually, no, it's not Fructus. Uh, who was the one that has 16 default? Check skills in a while. It was Prototype? Yes, it was Prototype. Here's the one I need to do that for. The Prototype ended up getting the absolute ridiculous level of, I think it was, Husbandry 16 default. <laughs> so he gets 20 immediately. Like, okay, cool. Well, uh, that's the best rancher I can possibly ever get. Like, there's just... I can't get a better rancher than that one. Now I can, because they can actually skill up now. But I think I'm going to call in auto here. Now then, uh, let's see here. I need to grab my follow list. Over my root tools. Wiggly Potatoes. Earlier last month. Check the naming scheme. Yep, all underscore. Okay, cool. Griggly potatoes. Welcome to the base, buddy. Only downside. You're gonna kind of have to deal with not having that much athletics. <laughs> so I might end up preventing him from being. Uh, schedule. Day team Talon, I want that time before sleep. Let's do. You only need two for that. Bathroom needs at least two. That'll work. There we go. Now let me up and change his priorities real quick. He is a good doctor. Magic skills need to be upgraded and upgraded. Operating high, farming low, digging low, supplying high, storing high. Rating negative, rocket negative, cooking minimum. He's got negative three, but he will need to learn to cook. Hiding it high. Going high. I don't think about it. Should be good to go. That front. And for his hat. Probably just get him improved carrying or farming. He needs to get the critters. And we'll do farming. I'll have to force his priority on farming up. Now we'll get EXP for everything. Yeah, Fraxus needed a sub an extra pair of hands, and I'm perfectly fine with that. We're easily way outweighing the food consumption here. As well as water. Water-wise, we're doing extremely well. 
currently dormant for 12.2. I do need to swap this ethanol out eventually for super coolant. Open that a little bit. Uh, we have to plan for Rudibo. Well, I should say we should plan for the return to Rudibo. Get a shell everywhere. <laughs> As per usual, just fire all the resources you ever need. Send this over here. I'll be once this thing's actually filled, and we'll use Gene to we'll launch off that way and safely get around. So, safety off on this. I'll be feeding more rad bolts into there for research purposes. Uh, Lex, you have uh, one down there. So good. I'm totally keeping my eyes out for the pink pip. <laughs> so I want to allow pip squeaks and your pip squeak. And then when we see it, we will need to justify that we can also put in uh, a hugger pip. Six percent. There we go. This one, that one, that one, that one, that one. I need to import more copper again. Go at 270 over here. And now, Theo, why are you getting stabbed now? What? You were doing fine. You didn't even get hit. <laughs> In the world. Uh, Spoon also got nailed. And Kyo. Ah, dang it. Must have bugged out. Well, that's frustrating. So I have tons of plastic now, so I should be able to start replacing everything with plastic. Well, I should say everything that should be replaced with plastic can be replaced. I think I can finally give it to this one. Remember correctly, this should be properly connected. Right now. Yep. So let me disconnect that real quick. No longer need these. Wonder need the entire line here, as well as that one.
so happy when we can actually extract all of this. Lock now. Over here. Get these out. I've been hard at work cleaning up all the extra uranium. Really good. I definitely need to send over more copper. I get more pips going. Don't need to worry about it too much. Anyone else injured? Nope. Okay. How are the people doing? Chit chat. I can probably stop sending water. We'll get rid of this little liquid bridge for the time being. Thanks. This is, by the way, above the head height for dupes, so they should be safe. Obviously, if they're standing here, they're going to get hit. And if they're standing on this ledger segment, they could get hit here. But over here, nobody goes here. That should be fine. At least for the time being. Once this is filled, we'll be good to launch. I think i got to be careful of it. Or is I do need to import a ton of obsidian from the bottom all the way down here. Bring it up. Temperature fall a little bit faster. So happy it's so much stuff done. Yes. And orange steel. Okay. That's what I want to see. Oh, also, I believe I can set up drill cones now. Yes, I can. If I really wanted to, I could slap on an artifact after the device and switch that out. Also, this this is going to melt, so <laughs> this will be temporary. Without a shadow of a doubt, this will absolutely 100% melt everything that goes near this thing. Uh, that includes duplicants. Now, gotta be careful about that. Now, also, I can actually replace all of that. Plastic. What's the gas in here? Uh, it's still absurd. Could stick one right there and just eject most of it out into a uh, space. I am thinking about switching out for the party phone, but I almost want to keep it floating so that way I can add yet another mess table here. So even though it will technically 
still maintain the uh, Great Hall bonus, it would not actually impede any like, actual construction. The other solution, obviously, would be to remove this Atmos suit, put a tile here, and then make it float here. And then we can remove the water cooler and slap in the glass table right there. I was thinking about doing that myself. Uh, yeah, screw it. Should be able to build that diagonally, then we can remove the tile. Then we're coming, because we can have everything else. Built, and I can just remove the tile underneath it, we can remove the water cooler, and we should be good to go. Make it out of steel. Resources. Let them build it. <laughs> okay, great hall still maintained. That respawn and this. Great hall bond is still maintained. And I don't need to worry about the party. can now house every single duplicate to a point where I don't need to worry about it. Slap a space artifact in. Nope. Oh. Going on with the toilet system. What do you mean toilet? Which soup urgently needs a toilet? Everyone's going to the bathroom safely at the same time. <laughs> Explain. But they're all good to go, guys. What are you doing? That guy was giving me a warning, and it's like, oh, uh, what? Dev? Ah, uh, where are you going? Ah, there you go. I still don't know what I'm going to put up here. I could actually put pips up here as well, or I could set up an actual poke shell ranch, or I could expand the clay production or ceramic. Either one is technically viable, or on the other hand, I can also technically add the molecular forge up here. I was thinking about putting one right here, actually, in the corner. It can fit there. Let's remove this tile. But I have no idea what I'm going to actually put here. Probably slap an artifact mount analyzer, like, right there, maybe? 
It's 800 still, though. Ugh. Oh, we will be getting a lot of artifacts. So I should probably do that. Or I could put it inside. Oh, we've already got our suits there. Eh, it makes sense to put it, like, right here, for the most part. Also have a new clothing refashion. Is actually kind of small. Hmm. I am very tempted to put this on. And then also put it on. <laughs> the issue is, is pretty sure the only line I can take from is the Uh, yeah. Lead. I do want to see the clothing refresh needer really badly. Because it, apparently they made it so that way you can get a lot of uh, new colors for your dupes. You can actually color code them. So I'm definitely going to utilize that for sure. And yes, I will probably make a redshirt team. <laughs> like 100%. There is going to be a redshirt team and that's going to be anyone that gets hit by bees. <laughs> so if I see someone getting stabbed by bees, I'll just put them in a red shirt. And that way I know which ones are currently being attacked by the bees. Let's be telling hold up. Eh, doing pretty good. Bridge is maintaining. Bridge is functioning. As well, we're doing just fine. I'm fighting the temperatures everywhere I go. At least the pips are doing well. I don't need to worry about that. Temperatures are pretty green. They're, yeah, it's like lime greenish. Over here's the only real area of orange and yellow. Down to 30, 32. First click. <laughs> are you, do you have any? Ah, oh, not even close. I should give him a hat. Now he doesn't suffer as much. Oops, enjoy hats. Been giving them on. How about Nazi? <laughs> Nazi or red suit? What is this for? Nazi suit with reed fiber. You get a nice red suit. <laughs> God. Purple polyester. Oh my God. The pom pom hit. It's your spandex. <laughs> okay, whoever gets Cory mining gets citrus spandex. I swear to God, they're the ones that get it. <laughs> whoever can mine the radioactive materials, you're getting citrus spandex. I don't care. It isn't it? If you overall confetti suits <laughs> and pink unitard. Confetti suit definitely for the sparkle streakers and of this map. <laughs> I, sh I should definitely start color coding people. Uh, do you want researches as purple or green? Or the cummerbund, I guess. Hmm, purple polyester. Do you want know purple polyester for, for the researchers? Sure. Let's make three of these. Skills wise, I have Rubbin, Bucket, and Chow. Definitely, I'm going to need three purple polyesters for them. That is a given. Oh, 
also I need to add uh requires the rover module's gonna get in the way, isn't it? Sorry rover. Thank you space for this. And also one artifact spot. Um make it up here. Fine. So we'll get rid of the rover module, slap on the drill cone, should be good to go. I need to be running around getting space artifacts here soon, now that we've got it online. The biggest issue, obviously, is that I will definitely need to add a cleanup system. Oh, also, I should be able to turn this back on. Hey. That should no longer freeze for a little while, probably about like eight cycles before I have to turn it off again. But, where is it? Alignment. Diamond press. I need to put one right here. Uh, what? This is much better. I think it's five wide if I remember right, but it should be fine. Alignment. There we go. And both score in. Good. We are definitely outpacing these two for the time being. Also, I still cannot believe that prototype came with the default 16. That is not. Okay, team. This built should be good after that. The only thing I do need to worry about is that I do need to set up a automated system. I don't want it to slide. Should be right there. Want as little radiation resistance as possible. I think I might need to go Put it on the other side. They can all shoot the actual input. And then all I need is this to be filled up when we can. And the dupes interact there. Now obviously, I will need to actually shield this area eventually. And a lot of the dupes actually come in from this side. This is why this ledger is. Eventually, this will get cleaned up and we won't really have to worry about it too much. Although, this will get installed and this will get removed. And then this will be blocked off except for a joint plate to fire. And this one is for carbon. Here we go. Come on, Proto, you can do it. It is a nice thing. Shoot. Yeah. Who can run this? Rock this world required. Assuming it's my artist. A new skill. No, a new skill. Hmm. 
pretty sure it's my artist that can do this. I don't know. Skills. Maybe that will get you to do it. Oh, your decorating is already maxed. Operating? I need operating for this? Very concerned. <laughs> I don't know which one they need. Give them, I'll give them all the basics. We'll see. There goes in trust. I don't know which skill it is that actually allows them to fabricate this. I'm assuming it's operating, but then requires an artist. <laughs> uh, that's such a that takes a while. Clothing refashionator usage. But I'm assuming it's also machinery. Machine operating speed. Yep. Definitely machine operating speed. Okay. So I guess now we need to make sure our artists can also have machinery skills. If you want to end up dying suits. I'm just kind of interested if suits are better if they're died because of the extra work effort. Which is a possibility. He is still cleaning up. <laughs> I feel so bad. Spawned in squiggly potatoes over here and it's just like, yep, all he does is clean. That is it. That is his entire purpose right now. Eventually he'll be to take care of animals, but at this time it's clean and run all the plants. <laughs> that is your job, bud. I'm thinking Infaust gets the Cubist knit, because he's my only artist. My doctor is probably going to get the citrus spandex. <laughs> uh, oh, research done. Good, good. What is that? Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Plugged out. Expect bugs. If we see anything that's like completely game-breaking, we will definitely report it. But so far, so good. There we go. Okay, uh, Bucket, you're gonna come get your new suit. Oop, working on the second one. There we go. <laughs> Researcher. Uh, that looks girl. That's just glorious. I love it. That is glorious. Okay, yep, researchers get the nice bright purple, so they stand out like a sore thumb. Sorry, eyed pacifist, night owl, ludite. I think we're just gonna take the Drecklet. And I think I'm gonna spawn him on Rudeville. Mostly because I know he's probably gonna die anyway, but might as well. Nope, oh, he's exposed to high radiation values. Who's working with the bees? 
Ooh, 58. What? Why did the temperature go up again? It's been kind of like hovering around green. The light orange. Ah, it's been observing it for long. Dang, you observer bug. <laughs> oh well. At least we haven't had any bees attacking dupes inside the base lately. That's good. I'll chuck that up as a victory of the patch. For now, anyway. Also, pip that out. Okay, I need to copy some here. Nope, I need that one, but I can remove all of them. Did get the pixel pack, which is nice. This one is reserved when we get it. Because I really want to try a cuddle pip in this room. Based on the description and how they function, they should be able to help increase the amount of page hatch. Thing. Technically needed, but it would be nice to have. Not seeing a cuddle pip egg. We only have a 2% chance of randomly spawning them. They are a chance. So why in God's green earth are all the pips in this one tile? Um. What? <laughs> I guess their pathfinding changed. Because... Yeah, I, I must note this. Oh my god, it's glowing green. There is 25 pips in this one tile. Oh man, <laughs> Holy crap. I see. They have become one with the storage bin. That is, every pip I have in this room is currently preoccupied trying to open and scramble through the storage bin. That's, um... That, that, that's a lot of green in that one tile. <laughs> God. 250 decor value from pips. Oh, well, that's kind of neat. <laughs> I can distract them with a container. <laughs> Uh, I approve. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was like, wait, where are all my pips? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, Cly. That, that's brilliant, by the way. I'm, I'm gonna hope that stays in, because that's just funny. Like that, that is actually hilarious. I was putting a cord in here. Drain hall, temperatures... Actually, are quite low in comparison to what we had this place at. We were kind of cooking this rocket for a little while. We're down to 180 dirt. Oh, I need to increase dirt production. I mostly need to convert the eth the timber, by the the lumber into uh, ethanol, which will also make dirt. Problem is, clean this up before I do that. I can technically work on it early and just get this all set up, but issues.
Put that in there. I technically can't. <laughs> I'm being. I do need a release valve on the base. We'll just do it based on pressure. That's why. pipe all the way up and eject everything in space are all the what this is these will be holding lumber and then I need one conveyor loader I think I remember I was going to put it right here actually I can technically just do this. How much steel I'm going to have to burn for this? Well, actually, no. I can just not use this, I think. Uh, yeah, we can we can borrow the wolf from. Receptacles need to be made of steel, but the conveyor lanes don't need it. That's way too much overkill. Even if that is kind of where we're sitting right now. Okay. Originally, and that's where we had all the connection points. That and also played deeper. <laughs> Falling. Okay. Definitely need to clean that one up. Okay, that can go. Then soon we producing what, maybe three. <sighs> Need one more ethanol to store, and we can make almost one kilogram per second worth of beer. Obviously, that'll get shipped. In room and it will be polluted dirt but it will get immediately pretty much eradicated on its way in. So it should convert inside these tiles here. I also do need to actually add a rock crusher in here. I think we'll expand the uh 
the power brick down a little bit, down to about here. And then on this side, I'll just add in a rock crusher and probably some more batteries and power transformers. I do need to incorporate pretty much the entire area into the system except the full chamber here. So pretty much everything down and around will be put inside this actual system. And this will be isolated because this will be CO2. Only work on that. Check it. Yeah, water is of no consequence now. I'm pretty good there. Next. Going off in eight cycles, so I gotta watch it. I feel like it's super coolant. This whole system problem. For the most part, it should be. the fact that there's now liquid chlorine sitting on top of the ethanol. <laughs> uh, it's so chilly. Just everything else is hot. Uh, quite effective. I'll be happy with the actual ethanol. Like, out of our system, get all sorts of It'll be nice. I don't need to worry about overheat temperatures, any of the other, anything else along those lines. Oh god, are they all there now? No, it's still only the 25. That... How? How? They're all being attracted by the container. <laughs> well, if anyone needs to know how to contain a bunch of pips, just put a container down now and uh, make sure it's just filled with items and your pips will just automatically gravitate towards it. Because normally this entire room was completely filled with pips. But, uh, yeah, they're all in this one tile now because they all went for my storage bin. This is my plunge of dirt. <laughs> Which I was perfectly fine with them doing because they just make it fall in the water that off gas is in the water, so... It doesn't actually off gas. Which is good. It's just weird that. Yeah, that's just weird. <laughs> I don't know why they're doing that, but I'm okay with it. None of you are cramped yet? Guam, they're not cramped. One dupes. We're so close. That done. Get those two in. That's all completed. Come on. And worry. Go, buddy. Go. There it goes. Also, I should probably turn this off for a little bit. Pretty sure we're overpressurizing. Might need to start shifting some water over here. Problem is, is we can't gain access. I could land a rocket on the roof here, put some trailblazer modules down, and then poke a hole like right here and just let all of this lava go out into space. That is an option. That way I could dig in here, insulate this, and it goes straight down. Stupid hot, but I really do want to just core it from here. So I get steel here via teleportation. If I want to send water, I can though. The issue is I need to make those.
are constantly utilizing water. Probably water through the system here soon for them. There's just not enough water production on that planet yet until they can get sulfur online. Rebel generator going. Uh, actually going quite well. You need to fill this. I'll be doing one more trip with this rocket over there. Also, let me remove the uh, rover module. That way we can get ready for actually launching this rocket. I need to check these two sites since they're looking around here. Might also hit up the rocky asteroid field later. Is on the table. Uh, also, also, uh, Robo, go get your new suit. Maybe. I re all of my researchers are getting the purple polyester. I'm thinking my artist gets the cube as. I'm thinking miners get the blue snazzy suit and ranchers get the green or the spiffy. Kind of, I'm kind of thinking maybe the spiffy overall for the ranchers, just because it kind of fits them. But then I'm like, but plumbers, <laughs> I have like what three plumbers I think. Fading. Yeah, I'm thinking farmer's green, rancher spiffy. Diggers blue, possible death dupes red. <laughs> Citrus spandex is going to be doctor and radioactive mining. Pink, I have no idea. And confetti, I guess tidying? And classic will be, I guess, primary dupes. Good old Doctor Who outfit. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, let me give now their outfit. I do like the new outfit, but they're white. Now, come get your suit, wherever you may be. There you are. Okay, swap your suit. Not one. There you go. Researchers are now all taken care of. All dressed up. Sadly, I'm pretty sure they won't. Really they only show up here in the top. But Robo, bucket now. Nearly cactus also needs one, but he is currently on Talon, so I can't really give him one unless I teleport it to him. I'm thinking builders might get the pom pom <laughs> or the confetti. I don't know who's gonna get the pink one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't. Oh god. Hmm. 
could get the blue one to the builders and the red one to the miners slash danger dude. Yeah, that would work. Builders blue, red de um, uh, digger slash deconstructor slash danger dude, aka the ones I have a. I have to be careful of in case they actually get themselves stuck slash almost killed. I feel like that's probably the best option. I know, Intos is making their, uh, their personal Cubist knit. Come on, Intos. Come on. You can do it. I guess I could put the plumber. Nah, we're now. If we're, if we're gonna put a plumber in a suit, it's gonna be the, ci the citrus spandex. I don't care. This is just too perfect for them. The artist for sure. And Faust. Take your new suit. Congratulations. That actually looks quite nice. <laughs> it also makes them stick out like a sore thumb, which is really good. Uh, now I do need spiffy overalls. I gotta wait on read five. Here. Also going to allow Gipix prototype. Pause this. Who's not here at the moment, but definitely when he if he ever comes back, he should be allowed in. And who else can work with them? Kyo can. Emrath, you can come through to help. Gene as well. I don't want everyone coming in here, but I want most of the people to come in. That should work out just fine. Oh, Frey, wait. Frey, you're actually making a suit? What is your fabrication skills? January 6th. Not useless? <laughs> That's actually not terrible. Come with that. Uh, I think A if he overall. Actually, uh, let's hold off until we get more fiber, and then we'll do it. I should also add. These can rock. That's fine. But the other one definitely got to be careful. Of that. I'm not really running this for power. I'm just doing it to make more dirt. <laughs> That. On, dupes, hurry it up. Yep. Up on the research, by the way. Focus. Uh, let's grab that one. Yep, 
Pitch are still 252. All in 134. I'll be so happy when I can start fully draining this as well. Build my strips of uh, steam turbines, clean out the area, and just let them go. Pretty good. There's our broadcaster and receiver. My dips are so close. Those. Slap this guy right in here. Have a spoon. Sorry, sand. Yeah, definitely go back to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, like, oh no, bathroom warning. Run, Duke. Do not piss your suit. Please do not piss your suit. Issue is that I need like both of these. I don't think I've got the resources for this. tight. I would love to be able to just put this like in here and not have to worry about it. That's still quite a ways for the dupes to run. I guess we could just do it in there. I want an input inside the safety of the base. All that reachable, yes it is. Yeah, this will be a CO2 polluted oxygen and steam box. I don't have to worry about it. Most likely it'll just end up being CO2 and steam because all the polluted water will get vaporized the second that it enters the area. But the rest of that will definitely be a pretty hefty steam like CO2 box. all that done. It should probably prevent squiggly from needing uh they're not prepared yet. In case they come back to the base. Be very bad if they end up getting stuck. <laughs> It'd be like, ah oh, they're in a suit. Oh no. <laughs> Immediate panic. good news is, is that our barbecue is dramatically increasing. And that's because Frox is a very good duplicate. The only other issue I have, though, is that I really do need to start cooling down. I think the Dracos are fine, though. Yeah, they're fine up to 110. I think everything here is made of steel or iron. Yep, okay. Should be fine. Damn, damn. What do you mean toilets? The toilets are free! Is the person having a toilet problem? I'm assuming it's some... Oh, wait. Proto? Maybe Proto. Yep, Proto. <laughs> Proto, run, you fool! <laughs> go, go, go! I think I saw a dupe that was injured. Uh, Kyo, there you go. There you go. Okay. And done. So what I want here is organic. Loaded dirt. Over priority. Make sure that the loaded dirt instantly goes kaboom. We're gonna hit there. Please be enough. 
see. Not a bit of pressure, that's good. And... Explode shortly. I right, said so 125 steam rooms. It should go off very, very shortly. Hopefully. Seven, six, then up here I need industrial ingredients. Technically, take from the main. Fine. That way, we don't need to worry about it. That. And we can vent the entire thing. Space. Oh, playing. Oh no. Oh god. Boom, you took out all the bees again. God damn it. Why are you the one being targeted this time? Ah, uh, fine. And of course, because the bees just exploded, all of the bees ended up getting like 80 degrees. <laughs> Who in the world? What happened? The bees just spontaneously explode now? I went from 60... Yeah, like 64... to 90? <laughs> what in the world? Uh, do the bees explode? Like, what? It, did they change it so the bee does actually, like, go... like, hit, a, hit critical mass or something? All my ethanol instantly rose up like 20 degrees when all the bees died into it. Like, what the hell? What happened? I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I'm like, what? what the heck did I just witness? I don't know. Super weird. Anything hot over here? No. I have no idea. Huh. I'm gonna need to watch the bees now some point just to make sure when they die they don't go kaboom because for some reason the temperature went up 20 degrees and it's like um what ow game playing i'm confused oh he's worked <laughs> i love the mole hand animation oh it's so nice <laughs> ah yes i like to dig <laughs> soul learner is a no-go even at uh ranching four Especially with the new EXP system. Because ranching now actually gives EXP. Interacting with animals gives EXP. So, this is now even worse. So, don't get that one. Uh, critter version as well. Not gonna happen. And anemic for him. No. I'm gonna definitely take the Wii's words. What? I think I'm gonna take it a beat talent. No. Like the only planet I think that may actually need a Wii's set setup. For nuclear refueling. Uh, it's melting, but they're fine. That's safe. Is there temperature? Eh, it's up to five. It was, you know, negative six. That's not terrible. Okay, and back to work. That needs not to be more. 
Uh, rocket ship. Yes. Okay. Yep, I'll put in cake. Now all linked up, so I'll take the space. I'm wondering why the dupes are kind of refusing to work on them. A couple of skills. I'm just going to higher priority these and hope the dupes get around. Just for a little bit. Okay, this. Pretty sure we've got everything. And no use. But this, this should all be fine. To be accessible from everywhere, and up here we'll need to be expanded upon. Obviously, as we clean up all of this, get our nuclear power plant down here, the interpreters on this side, probably more ranches over here. I will expand the ethanol pillars down. I'm thinking that we're going to take the the industrial brick and take up most of this area. Mm, yeah, like right there. The only issue, obviously, is if the nuclear reactor bugs out with neutronium. Um, in testing, I had some really weird stuff going on um, with this. But if it's fine, we should be good. If it isn't, we will definitely have to plasticize above it, as I've said before, and hope that we can take care of all the radiation. Because if it ends up doing what it was doing before, I expect the giant laser beam of doom to end up just blasting off the roof here. And any dupe that's in a like that space is gonna just get beamed by fifteen thousand rats. That would be bad. This will also give me a buffer for both machines. Gas-wise, a little thing of oxygen. Probably going to be mostly CO2 in here. Yeah, sadly, it's only going to be producing what? Yeah, one one kilogram per second with 666.6 grams per second of dirt. Not much. change how polluted dirt functions? I'm not seeing the, uh, when cooked it turns into dirt anymore. Strange. Let me get one spandex suit in. Need it for the janitor. Uh, there's some dirt. I made a mess. There's us. Oh. You guys gotta actually work on these guys a lot, but don't piss your suit for it. He's not going to have a good time here in a second. Ah, crap. Okay. Prepare the mopping procedure. And... Oops. Mop. Quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. In and up. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's super weird. Just looking real quick. I'm used to just cooking it off. Or is this intended? The question. The forms. Looking through the thing real quick. And she knew our works, blah blah blah. Let's see here. Not seeing anything about polluted dirt. I'm thinking it's a bug. Which is par for the course at this point. I may need to add a temperature shift plate made of diamonds just to try to actually blast through that. Obviously we need to make extra diamonds. I need to fill the rocket first. Huh. Anyone else having this issue? Or is this possibly something to do with uh, being an old save now? Which, again, this has happened before. I'm assuming it's just a bug.
Let's see. Arcade cabinet morale boost. Three, special nineteen. Ash beans are now classified as cooking agreement and can be stored in the refrigerator. Open turf artwork. New dig commands are automatically cancelled, that's nice. There, we're just gonna blank down the tile and jump across the gap. Idea with reverse. Both research and decorating, botanical analyzer. Dirt laying issue with arrow pots and investigate under it. Bookshells now consume 50% less mass polluted dirt or rotten piles per cycle while producing the same. That is it. There is no mention of an accidental change on polluted dirt. Ah, crap. <laughs> Not intentional. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I'm just gonna turn that on now, so that way I don't have to worry about it. Oh no! There it is. Disabled. One moment. Gotta go back in. Forgot that I actually, I had to switch, and I also told them to disable it. One moment. So I'm gonna hope that this is bugged. Because it should be a trend, it should be a change type, not a melting point information. Yeah. Because blue dirt's supposed to be able to be cooked off into regular dirt, and then regular dirt into sand. That is one of the most fundamentals of the entire game. And it looks like they bugged it out by accident. <laughs> because it's now being classed as sand. Which is... Uh, not good. I just hope that it's just a visual bug, and the second that this hits 125, um, that it will immediately turn. That's the hope. You're not understanding the air pressure stuff? Uh, which kind? Or well, what, what kind of system are you working on? Cold. Also, welcome to the stream, by the way. At the moment, I am currently looking at a bug myself about the Fast Friends update. So hopefully, I don't need to make a bug report, but I'm not seeing any other reports on the forums. So we will see. It looks like they broke the uh, information tab for polluted dirt. Ah, uh, joy. <laughs> Let's just hope that it still works. If I get this up to like 130 and it doesn't convert to dirt, we're going to have a problem. Uh, oxygen diffusers say pressure too high. Ah, gotcha. So if you're using the oxygen diffuser, you are consuming algae, and the way that it works is... Uh, it's pretty much the same as these. Well... Let me just pull this up. So the game calculates based off of tiles and the oxygen diffuser because it's only a one by two. Just spawn one in here. Look. Put it up here in space. So this guy calculates from this tile what the pressure is. If the pressure breaks 2,000, so if you hit two kilograms, then the oxygen diffuser will actually turn off completely. And the way that you can like avoid that is make sure that you have about two tiles above it. So the oxygen diffuser creates a plus symbol of oxygen wherever it is put down based off of the actual output. But the sensor for overpressure is here. So, it outputs here, its sensor is here, 
If it hits over two kilograms worth of oxygen around it, this turns off. Also, if you have CO2 under it, what will happen is, is that if the CO2 hits two kilograms, then this will also force it to turn off. So it will stop producing oxygen, which again is really bad. So the way that it works is, is that most of your machinery is designed to not harm your duplicates, at least for pressure and other things along those lines. And the thing is, is that when you start getting around 3,000 uh, grams per tile, that's when you start getting blown out of your drums, which is why most of the machinery will turn off at around two. Obviously, you can do some certain, you can do a couple tricks to overpressurize stuff. I would not recommend going over about two kilograms. So I would go to the limit of your oxygen diffusers. And the main reason being is, is that if you end up blowing out people's eardrums, then their stress values will start going through the roof. Because blowing eardrums is a 20% on default difficulty to stress. And yeah, it's not good. Like, don't put your dupes in a ultra high pressurized room. Like, I have 30 kilograms of oxygen over here. I would never allow my dupes to enter this room. My dupes, they would immediately blow out their eardrums the second they touch the tile of that. Just poof. Obviously, if they're in a suit, they're fine, but if they're exposed, yeah, they're, they're gonna have a bad time. Thankfully, water doesn't matter. So, you're pretty safe there when it comes down to water pressure, but, well, other than the tiles exploding. But the duplicates themselves are perfectly fine in liquid. It's just gas is where the problem lies. Like, these guys are hitting ga max gas pressure in here. Yes. You all notice that we're pretty much running at, like, full tilt just to clean out all everything and fully get everything filtered throughout the base. Also, I do need to claim all of them real quick. But yes, I personally would recommend set getting into an electrolyzer as quickly as possible. Um, mostly because algae itself is somewhat finite. Um, are you playing on the DLC or the base game? I assume you might be on base game because you're new to the game, but I don't know. Okay, so you are on the DLC. Well, if you're on the DLC... Let's see... Okay, so you're, you're in a base playthrough. So with a base playthrough, you have a limited amount of algae until you can actually process slime. But even then, when processing slime, it's pretty limited what you can do with it. Um, mostly because puffs barely put out any actual slime output. So, normally I would keep the algae around to the best of my abilities and just immediately rush to a basic Rodriguez. Well, technically a mini Rodriguez. Um, this is called a Spodum, which is a self-powering oxygen machine. And... This original design was by a guy by the name of Rodriguez, at least on Reddit from way back. And this is technically a miniaturized version of it. This can handle 15 duplicates worth of oxygen. And then over here is the full-sized one, which this handles 32. 32.6. Um, obviously, though, you have a lot of pipes, and I don't recommend immediately building this, because this takes out like 20 cycles to build, especially early on. I do recommend setting it up like this, or... Let's see. Yeah. Ritabo is the one. Yeah. The Micro Rodriguez is just the one. This can handle about, like, five dupes. And the only thing that it will cost you is water. But yeah, if you need the automation settings or anything like that, this one is 600 grams. Obviously, if you set this up, if you're really early on into the game, it's just one gas pump, an electrolyzer, um, no, two gas pumps, an electrolyzer, an Atmos sensor, and a little bit of cabling. And if you come on over here in the research, that is Smart Home, which is just the basic cable. 
You will need the Atmos sensor down here to regulate the hydrogen. Uh, let's see. Standard pipe. So basic research here. Uh, where was the airflow tiles? Airflow tiles were on the way to the gas pump. No. Basic gas pump and then airflow tile here. Or mesh tile if you want to have bathrooms early. I personally use mesh tiles myself, so that way you don't have to worry about the water in case polluted water gets in the system. But yeah, it's all pretty early stuff that you can immediately like put your dupes to researching. The only thing, obviously, is the refined metals that you would need. Um, if you have boulders as one of the perks, well, technically, you know, metal rich and all that, lush core, etc., etc., um, if you ended up getting a boulders map, or any map that has a refined metal volcano, like early, um, probably hope it's gold, uh, because gold you can gold you can get away with uncovering it in base game and the DLC without having to worry about it too much early game. Um, the other ones are way too hot in most cases, and patching them up quickly early game and once you open them is normally not a good idea. But, if you're doing fine, like, I would say maybe 20 cycles in, up to like maybe 100, um, you probably can go for just getting the rock crusher and just smacking out 50 kilograms of refined metal for your cables, and then you should be good to go. But yeah, if you need the automation... Uh, I will say this, feel free to screenshot, or just clip if you need it. Uh, hydrogen, I always set mine at 600. Oxygen, I set it at 900. As duly noted, automation wire, I just keep it like this, it's super simplistic. Not really too big of a deal. Power-wise, yeah, for a mini you're looking at what is it, 960. They can technically run with basic wires. I normally upgrade them once they start like actually getting more refined metals. But it's pretty simple. Yeah, 1090. And do have some other pieces attached in here. But I would recommend doing a setup like this. Or if you want, you can just do a fume hood, which is just a V shape. So just take basic tiles. Doesn't need to be insulated or anything. But again, early on, you don't really have to worry about it too much. Take one over here. Right now, wiring. Definitely put it like this. Pumps work off of this corner here, and they work in a plus symbol. So this pump would get the entire, all the hydrogen out of there, no problem. And you can just slap one down here. I don't have enough resources to put down any of those for on this planet. Do it over here on Rudabo instead. Let me. Well, good. I'll just do it like that. And in there, there. Oops. Get that out that way. Your base is off to the right. This, this will be your oxygen. This will be your hydrogen. Pretty much this is what most people used to do way back in the day. And you can easily do this early on. It's not that big of a deal. Though, 
once you really start getting into the game and you actually start learning the mechanics of how like gases and other things just refuse to be in the same tile you can end up just doing this and you can technically expand it So, the only thing is, is that I would need to do something like that. And that also works. Obviously, this is not anywhere near as efficient, but this does actually function in the exact same way as Rodriguez as a spotum. This would be enough for I think four generators if I remember correctly. Yes. Yeah this would be four hydrogen generators. So that's a lot of energy. <laughs> like as a whole, here's like a super basic fume hood design spotum that anybody can use, whenever they want. And again, if anyone is new dash not included, feel free to take a screenshot or, again, timestamp if you want. But, super basic. If you're just getting into the game, this will actually kind of teach you some of the basics of how uh, gases work. And then if I come on over here to this one, which is my mini, this is the exact same principle. It's just that, remember that in oxygen not included, Gases of different types cannot hold the same space. What that means is, is that even though this is technically putting out hydrogen and oxygen, because hydrogen will always try to go above oxygen, once it takes this space, oxygen cannot remove it. As long as you keep the pressure of the hydrogen over about like 200. I personally keep it around 600. That way this will only activate when it can pull in about 600 grams and then you're good to go. But you can use this same exact technique with the oxygen diffusers if you want, as well as the sublimation stations if you're playing on the DLC. If you're on a marsh start, then you will definitely be using sublimation stations. This just pumps out polluted dirt and polluted oxygen. Um, technically, you can do the same exact system, but it's going to look a little weird because you will also need deodorizers. That is, if you want to not have to worry about yucky lung issues. Uh, these guys are getting this way. So, if you've got the DLC, this is actually a completely viable technique. And that's it. <laughs> this, is, this is literally all that you need. Um, obviously... You would normally want to make it so that way you can automate this later, but this actually works pretty, pretty much like right out of the gate. There we go. Oh. That was... And yeah, it just works right out of the gate. Um, the only real issue that you would have is that you would probably want to add a bowl like this. That way the polluted oxygen does not seep out too much from these corners. Uh, well, what'll happen in this is that your dupes can climb down here, fill this thing and this one, and then they can also fill these two from the middle, and then all of the oxygen that comes, all the polluted oxygen that comes out of these will settle down here. The regular oxygen that is output from the deodorizers will actually come out this way, and then that will pressurize the entire area and push down the polluted oxygen. So oh, you'll just end up getting a polluted oxygen line right around here. So that also works. But again, this is just this is how you can play around with how the pressure works. So when you're dealing with different types of pressure systems, you just need to understand that uh, like polluted oxygen and oxygen don't mix because they're two different types of materials. Once they're filtered, then it just becomes oxygen. But before that, 
they will just try they will fight each other for their spot inside your systems and because they will fight each other you can totally abuse that just mechanically that's how all of these uh, that's how oxygen not included works it's also how liquid works it's also why liquid locks work so in here i have a vacuum and here i have co2 the co2 is currently right around negative 28 yeah, negative 26. So, this is completely insulated from in here. And the reason being is, is this is a vacuum. There is nothing in here. And the reason being is, is that A, I vacuumed it out, and B, oxygen not included uses true vacuums. Meaning that once there is nothing inside of this, there is no temperature transfer by any means. Um, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It means that, technically speaking, you can make liquid locks and permanently just keep all the temperature inside, such as cold or hot, such as my industrial brick over here. So all of this is steam. If I turn on the temperature sensor, this is a vacuum. There is no temperature transfer from in here, out to here, or in the base. So everyone's living nice and carefully in here. Everything in here is insulated and far away from them via a giant wall, as well as a vacuum lock. But gases and liquids refuse to mix. They end up getting stuff like this and this. Now, you can use that to your advantage, and you can use technically two different types of liquids to create easier liquid locks, which is really nice, as well as it's one of the ways that you can actually fill in for volcanoes so you can clean stuff up. Oh, Amari. New dupe. Uh, Athletics 12. Downside, not really what I'm looking for. Heavy dresser, handy. Eh, come on, guys. Come on, printing pod, you can do better than this. Uh, barbecue, though. Sounds mm. almost up to a million food. These guys are rapidly producing. I guess I could just call the barbecue in and main base. Should be fine. I know the hatches are going to try to grab some of it. Come on. Go. Oh. But that's fine. I also need to make more suits. Because the new update allowed us to make a bunch of suits. Um, I need two of these. And the spandex suit goes to... Yep. Because I'm going to put my plumbers in it. So anyone who has the blue hat. As well as anyone... Who gets the hazmat digging? Which will probably be Vern. Yes. So yeah, Vern will be in the spandex suit. <laughs> it looks so derpy. Oh, I love it. I will admit, though, I don't understand the pink one. <laughs> I don't know why the devs were like, oh, yes, yes, spandex pink. <laughs> oh, dear God. But, yeah, once you learn that, Pretty much you can do some very crazy things in action not included. Mostly it's just all pressure control. Oh, also, um, technically speaking, this bug has been fixed. But it always has the chance to come back, so I would always recommend it. If you ever make a steam room, definitely add a liquid filler. The other reason I say this is, is that when water is transferring into being steam... What happens is, is sometimes you will end up getting to a point where the water will actually lose energy when it's transferring. Because Oxygen Not Included has a really kind of weird mechanic where even though it is well beyond its melting point, as you can see here. So right now, this nuclear waste that I'm trying to warm up and turn into liquid nuclear waste is currently sitting at 29.2. The listed melting point in the game's code is 26.9. The thing is, is this needs to get to 3 degrees higher than its actual listed melting point. So I need to get this to 29.9. And then it will instantaneously flash into liquid. So the entire material blob here, which by the way, this is all the dead bees. Um, all the bees that have died over time, I have been slowly accumulating them as nuclear waste. But... The biggest problem I'm having right now, as well as some of the bigger issues that you'll have where you'll be running, say, a steam box, or like an industrial brick, or when you're just trying to understand, like, 
when you're getting to grips with how to transfer energy or store energy, um, you will find that sometimes you will have steam that is like 93 degrees. And that is because the game has not actually calculated its condensation point because it hasn't hit below the energy threshold. So with oxygen not included, the way that they simulate physics is that it has to go plus 3 or minus 3 depending on where you're wanting to change it. So if I wanted to turn all of this water, like say all of this, there's 400 kilograms per tile worth of water in here, but it's all in steam format. Meaning that I need to kick it down to about 96.4 or 96.3 in most cases, and then I can convert it back into water. If I wanted to reconvert all this water, once I convert it down into water and I want to turn it back into steam, I would need to actually push it all the way on up to 102.4, which in some cases, because of the specific heat capacity and the thermal conductivity, you will actually end up losing energy. Let me scroll in down here. So water here, the specific, the thermal conductivity is at 0 0.69. Is that, yeah, 0 0.609, sorry. And then when it goes from steam into water, it gets more thermally conductive. And then when it goes water, yeah, from steam to water, more thermally conductive, from water to steam, less. But thankfully, the specific heat capacity was finally fixed, meaning that the values are the exact same. So you don't actually lose heat energy. There are some materials that do still lose heat energy for some weird reason. Such as brine, which only has a specific heat capacity of 3.4. So if I end up converting it into steam, it will actually add energy into it for some weird reason. And by add energy, I mean it will spontaneously become technically water and salt, but in the process, it actually adds more energy into the steam than what was originally there. So it technically is creating energy. So that is a thing. It's weird because it defies the laws of physics, but it allows the game to function. Because this game runs in Unity, and if you weren't doing some small little bits of fixes, it would literally implode. <laughs> it would violently implode, uh, which we have had in the past due to patches. But yes, as a whole, one of the main tricks that I would always recommend is add a fluid medium when dealing with temperature transfers. Obviously, if you're converting a fluid to a gas. If you're going from a gas to a fluid, I would still recommend using a fluid medium. It just works better. But also, that means that you do need to pay attention to temperature brackets as well as pressure. Which is why I'm like, gas pressure, like understanding how gas pressure works in this game is somewhat complex. But once you get the fundamentals, you really do can just understand the rest of it. So hopefully that explains the entire, like, the basis for everything in Oxygen Not Included. Because you kind of need to know all of that, so that way you can understand why your stuff is breaking, or why, say, your electrolyzer keeps hitting max gas pressure. Or why, say, what if your walls gets blown out due to water pressure, etc., etc. Is that is actually something that you can use as well. So, when I was cleaning out the entire core of the planet, which was all lava, I ended up making a water blade. When the water blade punched right into the abyssalite and the obsidian and igneous rock, what happened was, was it actually caused a bowl effect. Because I was using both polluted water, brine, salt water, and water. And what would happen is, is that the water would hyper-condense because it was getting pressured by all the other types of liquids, and it creates a water blade. And what that water blade does is that it, like, fractures its way through, and within one cycle, I had punched a hole practically all the way down to here. <laughs> it was just like, let's just take all the water that's in this box and just superheat it and watch it just drill its way into the core of the planet. And it works great. <laughs> It really does. I was actually surprised. I was not expecting it to be as effective as it was. It did most of the core damage, which was really good because it crushed materials instead of re-solidifying them. 
which means that I didn't lose actual mass. It was very, very nice. It's very effective, and I definitely recommend it. I was quite happy with the results. Uh, let's see here. Research. We're pretty much finishing off the rest of the research now that we've got everything pretty much stabilized. Also, um, with the recent patch that it just went out just a couple hours ago, um, if you get pips, give them a storage container. Because right now their uh, AI is a wee bit borked, and they will all clump up on the one storage container in the room. And they seem to refuse to want to go anywhere else. So normally I have pips running all over this place. But uh, they seem to have made friends with the uh, storage bin. And I do mean all of them. <laughs> so I'm a little confused by that. Uh, leave it to Clyde to uh, leave in a really weird pathfinding issue. That and also to break polluted dirt. Because apparently it's uh, converting to sand instead of actual dirt. Which doesn't make any sense. It's very concerning, actually. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, what? Uh, also, I should probably... Is it... Agriculture. You make sure I set it for regular dirt as well. Because the polluted water in here will turn into regular dirt and steam when it gets hot enough. Yeah, that's super weird. I think they just bugged it out. That's about it. I have no idea why that's... It, because, again, I've, the patch notes do not list a change to polluted dirt. Um, they actually did a change to regular dirt as well as um, the poke shells. But there is no mention of any sort of stat changes to the actual polluted dirt. And now you convert it up to dirt and then into sand if you wish. But... Apparently, the poke shells with their extra molt versions um, and their standard one, they actually eat less material and produce the same amount of resource. So they're much more efficient than they used to be. And yes, this will, I believe the patch, yeah, it applies to all of them now. So it used to be 100 kilograms for 35, now it's 70 for 35. At least according to the patch notes. Which is good. That's really good stuff. I am seriously still waiting for my pips to create a bug egg. One of the... Come on over here. One of these weird monstrosities, the cuddle pip egg. We have a 2% chance of getting one. So we will have to wait and see for when that happens. The reason that we should be able to spawn it is when these guys get cramped because everything else is taken care of i just haven't incorporated the cuddle pip egg so i'm just keeping an eye on all the pips so if i see them get cramped that means that there's a cuddle pip egg somewhere in their enclosures Oh, there goes all the bees. Okay, their temperatures are still safe. Good. I don't know what happened earlier. If we come on over here, you'll notice that we got about like 58 to 60. Yeah, 79 down there. And what happened was, was one of the bees attacked one of my dupes, and then we saw nuclear waste around 89 degrees fell in here. And I was, I'm very confused as to what that was what caused that. Because the bees die out at... I think, what is it? 0 0.1 degree? Yeah. <laughs> so if it hits... If they hit 0, they die instantly. So I have no idea where 89 degree nuclear waste came from. I am super confused. I was like, I 
Did the, did the bee just explode? <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, I mind you, that would be absolutely terrifying because, I mean, they're nuclear bees. So, if they, you know, went, went and had a critical event, that would be very bad. <laughs> I'm just very confused as to why I had that weird temperature spike there. It made no sense. more diamonds as well. Okay, how's our clay doing, actually? Uh, I forgot to track it. Clay, we're at zero. Ceramic, you're at 11 tons of ceramic ready. I'm okay with that. Good start. Okay, uh, let's see here. I need to get my builders their suits. I need to do up a couple more. I got the in there. I definitely need to be planning for this as well. We gotta go back. I need to strip that planet completely. Temperature is 48.9. That's stable. Ah, it looks so nice. This used to be completely orange. Now we've kicked it down to about lime green. Yeah, we'll take that. It's still falling in temperatures. That's good. Potatoes, do you have another skill yet? You do! Um... They get you ranching, but they can't actually allow you to go leave the base yet. I really need to get him on a wheel. Mm. There you go, bud. I need to make a gym for him here. Problem is, is I don't know where to put it. Um, you know what? I have space iron. Want that there? Turn this into his gem. For nine. I should get, yeah. Quickly should be able to get that done. Good. Just cleaning everything. CO2 is going up a bit. Hmm. May need to get more plants over there to deal with that. Oh, dormant for 34.9. I'll go dormant in 2.4. Really active. If I want more salt, I can do that there. Let's get prepared for the next rocket launch, shall we? Oh, for a second. And I need a drill cone. Make it of iron, that's fine. Yeah, 
There we go. Already up to 1,196 rad volts. Actually, okay. Be a hell of a lot better, but... I think it's based on many cycles. It now has five. How little fuel we have in it. And I'll just 10. Oh, we're good there. Okay, I don't need to worry about that one. I do need to slap one down somewhere. I'm just kind of debating where to put it. I was originally going to put it here, and then obviously I need more battery space. But I could probably just scoot the batteries down here. Hmm. Yeah, we could just do that. That'll work. I need to actually put in a um, uh, salt crusher in here because of all the hot salt that we're going to be working with for a little while. Right now I'm crushing pretty much everything that's safe to crush. And for the most part, that's that's all safe to work with. Let's keep that a higher priority. It's blocked again. I'm just gonna let the gas fill up in here. Runabel. Pretty sure I'm completely filled up on plastic. I am. I don't think we need that much more stuff. I've got so much crap laying around all over the place. I think we're good to go. I just have to claim everything that I was firing at the planet early on, so I think we're good there. We have refilled this, though, so that's good. I got I need I'll take seventy kilograms worth of pickled mail. That's fine. Okay, this one's good build. Let me make sure my crew is the same. Protopoly, Fracor, and Boone. Good. I'm going to need all three of them. Yes, that's good. Yes. I'll be happy when I can finally start making enough red bolts to where I no longer need steam. I could start working on hydrogen rockets, but I'd rather save that until we get find the water world. I really need this one filled up, and we can just start exploring a bit. So weird. Hmm. 
Hmm. I've got my compost heaps already up to 229, but yeah. It's still locked at 75. Oh well. Interiors. Okay, good. And what I need to do next. Way over pressure in here. Well, we'll just have to make do with what we've got. Okay. I need to lower this to 21. Barbecue. Give me a suit. Hold all of that. I think we're pretty good on everything else. I can extract everything else without much of an issue. Nice. Okay, who is bringing me the suit? Okay, Sandwraith is bringing me the suit. Bucket and Bear bringing the rest. Suit on the way. I like the blue one. That looks good. Bring me the barbecue, dupes. Come on. Go, go, go. Just bring a tiny amount. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> what? Ugh. Never trust your dupes. One rule of action included. Never trust your dupes. <laughs> it will always find some way to make a mistake. I'm pretty sure they grabbed all of the barbecue. No, I don't know where it is. I am super concerned. <laughs> uh, no. Maybe it's all the way at the bottom? Oh, I am concerned. Where did you dupes bring all the excess barbecue? We had quite a bit left. Not an insane amount, but quite a bit. Well, I'm concerned. Out, spin, get your other suit on. Well, I guess that'll do. Sweep only. That should be good to go. Once Crazy gets in there and fills this, I will set it to crew only, and then we should be good to go. There we go. I got crew only, everyone get to your stations. We have a lot of stuff that we need to bring back. I hate to do this, 
but I'm gonna get rid of the storage bin because I really want the pips to stop bugging out and actually like pathfind. There's 28 pips in one tile because the update broke pathfinding for them. I literally can't figure out that their plants are over here to make Demar dirt, so they're just stuck. Also remove this one in case I do decide to fill it. I accidentally click on it or something. Just deal with polluted dirt the normal way by feeding it to the uh, poke shell spawn. Okay, pimps. You guys good? There's so many of them. They're all in one tile. Uh, that's a concern. Come on, guys. Climb out. I know you can do it. Okay, everybody here. I see Freight. I see Spoon. Okay, we're all here. Good. And make sure that we're all safe on fuel. Okay, yep, we are completely good on fuel. Begin launch sequence. Bunch it, guys. And yes, it is hot. <laughs> Not as hot as this, but definitely hot. Off they go. Pips? Oh no. Um... I don't know how to get them out of there. Uh... I guess I just wrangle? And hope for the best? I feel like that's the best I can do for them. Yeah, they're they're literally all stuck in this one tile. <sighs> Oops. Please retrieve the pips. Do so. Well, that's a concern. Hopefully, they get unbugged and are retrieved. But, uh, that's not looking good. That's like all the little baby pips are just staring at all the other ones. Oh dear. Oh no. greatly. Also, I need to put Ray there and Proto there. Nope, oh, new principles available. New shrimp bar, pinch of pepper nut, researching, stewing, and gut, interior decor, gastrophobia, our fundamentals, interior decor, noodle arms. We're going to definitely take the shrimp bars. I'm going to take them on Rudabo because they do not expire. I'll take 1.8 cycles to get there. Reasonable. I really need to save these pips because they are definitely bugged out. Oops. Save the pips. I don't care what you have to do. Please rescue them. They are definitely having some uh, serious problems. Good. There's so 
so many pips in this one spot. Holy crap. The poor pips. Save them. Save them dupes. Their AI completely borked. The poor things couldn't figure out how to pathfind after they all went for one container. There we go. There's only a couple more pips to move. <laughs> Rescue them all. Please. There we go. There we go. All the pips have been saved. Yeah, they, they literally couldn't pathfind their way out of a paper bag. <laughs> My god. Cly, why? <laughs> they made their pathfinding to containers so aggressive that once they get onto a container, they will not leave it. They all got stuck. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, it's painful to watch. Well, at least we fixed it. AKA got rid of it and moved and rescued them all. To the best of my abilities. It's still annoying. Funny. I, I will give it that. It was hilarious. But it's definitely on the god dang it part. <laughs> I feel like when the power goes down, we'll delete these and swap it out for a uh, crusher. Oh, I can handle all the hot sand that's in here. Nope, oh, another bee down. I'm generating quite a bit of heat from the water in here. Thankfully, they're completely insulated if they don't Pick around this system. So I will need to definitely set up a uh, automated cooling system for this, because this will be my nuclear power plant's actual water supply. So I need this entire tank filled, all of these filled, and extras filled. And then I have to set up an automated regulation system so that way the nuclear plant, the nuclear power plant, doesn't explode. Because that's going underneath the neutronium, pretty much like right there. Okay. You know what? Right there's fine. That should be safe. That is definitely something I have to pay attention to. I just hope it doesn't explode. Because that would be bad. Let me turn the safety back on. All these hurt. There, Sputnik 4, how you guys doing? Uh, you're holding up well. Hey, more research. Uh, decon decomp and... Grab the gourmet. I won't use it yet. I'll definitely grab it. Let's see. 1,288, climbing, not bad, not bad at all. Now they're on their way back, over to Rudabo. Uh, oops, I would like you guys to finish that, please. Thank you, Proctus. Yeah, I do need to build a fridge over here. In this corner. So it'll probably be... Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking there. We'll put a cooling unit here. Because the steam turbine will just sit up here. There we go. 
Yeah, we'll have two steam turbines, one here, one there. We're gonna put a basic building box right here. I think it'll be a hot box. And then we'll have one set up for the actual fridge, which we said negative 26. And we'll have a cooling loop for the entire base. Right now we don't really need the extra cooling loop, I just need to make sure that everything's put in beforehand. That way we don't need to worry about it. Besides that, that's pretty good. Uh, radiation wise, I probably need to add yet another protective layer. It is highly radioactive satellite. Yay! Actually super useful. Uh, just not yet. It will be super useful. Future. Concerned about my dirt production. Hmm. Palin, I'm pretty sure we stripped everything. The little corner over here. And that's the two box. Hmm. Oh yeah, also, with the patch, made it so that way these now automatically turn off. So, yeah, that's actually really nice. Nice little animation too. But that was in the patch notes. So if you ever accidentally click on Neutronium, it will no longer have a lingering big order that a duplicate can get stuck doing. It's a really good thing. Sorry, Sweetles. Those need to go. Who did decay? Ow. Okay, that's fine. Natural growing everything. That is perfectly fine. I do need to come back in here and open both of these. I can properly transfer the 125 into this room. kilograms of CO2. Uh, let's not pop that open yet, shall we? I'll hold off on doing that until tomorrow. Going up still, very good. It's doing very, very well. need to cut back on the mealwood. I don't really need this much anymore. I am using it as my space food. Kind of limited on that right now. Nope. Throw it out. Throw in your other suit. Maybe I'll speed this up real quick just to allow him to catch his breath. Yep. There you go.
Piling's up to 14. Good job, Proto. on the planet. Talon, we are up to 144 kilograms of barbecue, which is pretty good. Again, it's only two duplicates on this planet for um, a lot. <laughs> and I mean a lot of recos. Got my little dudes if I mine it? Uh, no. The only time you gotta worry about uranium um, is if you got bees around. That's really about it. The radiation from them is pretty much non-existent, which is funny because 92 in real life would kill you, but duplicants don't care. Um, dupes can handle up to 100 before they get minor radiation sickness, 300 for major, but the thing is is that if they poop, so aka if they go use the restroom, that, or if they end up barfing, um, they will remove 100 rads worth of buildup. So, if you're mining uranium, you're perfectly fine. This stuff is not really an issue. Uh, the only thing that you need to remember, though, is that if you do dig up materials, so uranium ore, whenever your dupes dig something, they lose 50% of the mass. If you have bees, then try your best to let the bees dig up everything. If you're needing to construct something, then you'll just have to suffer the consequences of losing half the uranium. Um, if you have bees clean up an entire map, such as my map over here, where I'm just letting the bees kind of handle everything, I'm pretty sure I have enough uranium to run a nuclear reactor on this planet full tilt for like 2,000 cycles. If I was to dig it up myself, I would probably only have about maybe 900. So it does matter, but if you don't have bees, then just, and you need to clear it out so you can build, then just remove it. Um, the only other advice I can give you is be careful of the CO2. So whenever you're in a radioactive biome, the there you'll see these little pockets of CO2. So wherever the, the dark gray is, keep an eye on the pressure on some of these. Sometimes the game can put like almost 3,000 kilograms worth of CO2 in one tile. So the second you poke it, it just explodes. Like, I've had, I remember I had one of these, um, uh, I had like a little uranium rock, and it had, I think it was almost like 1.3 million kilograms of CO2 in it, and I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna seal that in, remove everything around it, and so they crush my way in. Um, if I had made one mistake, I would have instantly flooded the entire area in CO2, and like, non-removable. Just too much CO2. Like, the entire area would have just been... It would have just looked like this. <laughs> and I wouldn't have been able to remove it. It would have been just such high pressure. It would, it would have been... Maybe 300 cycles of cleanup if I had fucked up. Like it, it's, it's definitely noticeable. But yeah. Uranium is perfectly fine for your dupes to touch, pick up, etc, etc. Even enriched uranium doesn't actually put off any actual radiation. Which is funny, because, you know, it's enriched uranium. It should. It just, it doesn't. Uh, the only other thing I can think of with um, radiation stuff, be careful of your rebel generators. These can definitely hurt a dude. And also the radioactive satellite. At least for early game. Nuclear power, on the other hand, which I would not recommend rushing. It's good, and you can technically rush it, but... You need to make sure that you can shield the entire base from the nuclear reactor before you really push for it. But other than that, the only other danger is these. That's about it. At least from radiation, radioactive biomes. Really nothing else in here that, that's dangerous to your dupes. I feel like if they ever made a way to make plutonium, I would be concerned. But with the current way that duplicates and how hardy they are against radiation, at least on base difficulty, 
even on you know higher difficulties, you can kind of get away with putting them in radioactive lead suits, giving them fish, and hopefully picking up any radioactive dupe. Um, by radioactive, I mean glow stick dupe, which Kyo is one. So I'm going to lag the second I do this. But, where is it? Radiation resistance is 33% for a glow stick dupe. And if you end up putting them into a... If I end up putting them into a lead suit, the lead suit gives them 66% resistance. So if they are a glow stick dupe inside of a lead suit, it means that the dupe is at 99% resistance. If you give them fish, they will hit 104, meaning that radiation does nothing to them. And, uh, yeah, they're extremely durable. That's why I like the close stick dupe. Radiation Eater is okay, but Radiation Eater technically removes 150 um, uh, rads instead of 100. But it, they do it automatically. So if you're in, say, 250 radiation regularly, in like from space, um, Radiation Eater can handle it. If you start going like higher, like say you're regularly around a radioactive satellite, um, Radiation Eater will not cut it, sadly. It's good, it's just not good enough to handle it. Because the radiation is just too powerful for them, sometimes. And if you find a um, glow stick dupe in your printing pod that has, you know, not many negatives or, like, actually good negatives and maybe just, like, one or two positives besides the glow stick perk, I would normally recommend taking it. Just because of how useful they are. I'm worried I'm producing too much polluted, ox uh, polluted water right now down here. That is a concern. Ah! Sun's hitting me in the face. <laughs> I just look up for a second and it's like, oh, hello, son. Good morning. Uh, it is now 6 o'clock. I think I should probably call it here. I am currently being blinded. Uh, let's see. Also, it is 8.42 for the cycle, which is nice. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow we'll definitely um, uh, be landing on Rudibo. We should be getting into orbit right at the start of the actual episode. So I think we'll be pretty good there. I need to completely strip mine that planet though. 100%. I think I'll leave some like a dupe there, but I really don't know what I'm going to build there because the temperature is just too cold. There really isn't any uranium or other things there. So I don't really know what we'll do with that planet. I might just make it into a like planet hop for whatever planets in the south. And that'll be about it. It'll probably just be like a refuel bay. But for now, I think that's it.